Okay, let's start. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this evening, let us begin with the prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer for the protection of hands in inclusion, Philippines. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team, to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hansen Inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. St. Clair of Montefalco, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. St. Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. St. Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. St. Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius X, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone, all organizations and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The, the words depicted upon him due to COVID-19. This is... Ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuhan ng organisasyon ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Magbayo Tayo Ka Inclusion. Today is Saturday, October 9, 2021, and I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and together with me is Asher Santos. And we're broadcasting simultaneously on Incurajo Facebook page. And it will be viewed on the next day on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. Christian Chan will be will be late and he'll be joining with us in just a moment. Asher, your opening remarks, Oy. please. Hello, so good po ulit, David and gentlemen. Wag ka ulit sa ano sa magpayo tayo ka inclusion. Our topic for today is ano is about breast cancer awareness. Of course, Christian Chan will be joining us later po sa show natin. Po. Sana okay. magustuhan niyo ang topic na sa ating araw na ito. Carlos. Thank you. Carlos. So, so as we begin our show this evening, let us have our daily verse for today from Proverbs chapter 21 verse 3. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. We shall commence our presentation in just a moment, and we will be back after this commercials. Now this. Okay. Thank you. 
Welcome back to Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion. This evening, we will discuss to you about breast cancer awareness. So guys, before we begin our presentation, I will have a question. What is breast cancer awareness for you? Christian, you go first. Breast cancer awareness is 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 being aware that not that that women can have breast cancer and that cancer in you? itself is uh cancer in itself is uh is a serious disease, serious ailment. Okay. How about you, Asher? What is breast cancer awareness for you? Um, breast out, breast cancer po is ano to ano tanay lang ha. Wait lang po, Chris. Wait lang po, Carlos. Okay, you breast cancer is an annual campaign to raise awareness about the impact of breast cancer po. Okay, so. Without further ado, let us have our topic presentation this evening, which is the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So what is the Breast Cancer Awareness Month? This is also referred to as the National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This is an annual international health campaign organized by major breast cancer charities every October to increase the awareness of this disease and to raise funds for research into its cause, prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and cure. Observances of the event have faced criticism for corporate involvement by drug companies, as well as instances of pink washing associated with the events. So, in essence, or in layman's term, the Breast Cancer Awareness Month aims to increase awareness of breast cancer and also to raise funds through donations in order for for the persons having breast cancer to have prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and cure. 
to read this essence, I will give the floor to Christian Chan. Christian, the floor is yours. Thank you. Breast Cancer Awareness Month International Health Campaign lasting the month of October that is intended to increase global awareness of breast cancer. There's no Can need you... to explain it. No need to explain. It's it stay it's already there. Well, this is why we celebrate October as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. There's no need to explain it. Okay. Asher, can you read this slide, please? What breast cancer is about? Your breast cancer is, I know, you find a major ananayata sa di na masyado o ano. Asher, can you read this slide, please? Okay, okay. Okay, excuse me. Breast cancer. Other than skin cancer, breast cancer is most common cancer among American women. Mammograms are the best way to find breast cancer earlier, early, when it is easier to treat and before it is big enough to feel or cause symptoms. Can you explain this, please? Ito yung sa, ito yung breast cancer ay mas malala po, especially to the woman po. Yes. Okay. What are the facts about breast cancer, ladies and gentlemen? Each year in the United States, about 255,000 women got breast cancer and 42,000 women die from the disease. Men also get breast cancer, but it is not very common. About one out of every 100 breast cancers diagnosed in the United States is found in a man. Most breast cancers are found in women who are 50 years old or older. But breast cancer can also affect young women, younger women. So, based on this slide, ladies and gentlemen, breast cancer is also affecting women. Why? Breast cancer is affecting women, or regardless of gender. Christian. I would have to explain it scientifically because... But they to take up most of our time. But the bottom line is this: all people are born female until the Y gene kicks in, until the Y chromosome kicks in. How about you, Asher? Why is breast cancer affecting all genders? Asher, please mute yourself, please. Of, of course, you breast cancer dilan sa mga females po, pati males na rin nakaka-affected din talaga siya eh. eh hindi lang po yung sa matatada, lalo na sa mga bata, mas ma, nakakapata sa mga edad po na-affected na sila. Okay. So, to read the same terms, I will give the floor to Christian Chan. Okay, thank you. Symptoms. There are different symptoms of breast cancer. Some people have no symptoms at all. So this include any change in the size or shape of the breast, which is alternation. Pain in area of the pain in area of the chest, in any area of the breast. People just discharge other than breast milk, including blood. A new lump in the breast or underarm. If you have any signs that were you, see your doctor right away. And normally, the, some of these some of these some of these symptoms are not just only for breast cancer. Also, primary symptoms is for breast cancer. But if you have if you have cancer, you might also uh, cancer in other parts of the body. You might also feel these symptoms. So please, if you feel if you see any signs, consult your doctor immediately. Okay. What are the risk factors of breast cancer? Getting older. The risk for breast cancer increases with age. Most breast cancers are diagnosed after the age of fifty. The genetic mutations. Inherited changes to certain genes such as BRCA1 and BRCA2. Women who have inherited these genetic changes are at higher risk of breast and ovarian cancer. 
For the reproductive history, early menstrual periods before the age of 12 and starting menopause after the age of 55 expose women to hormones longer, raising the risk of getting breast cancer. Asher, can you read this line, please? Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Wait it, Anna. <clears throat> Heavy, dense breast. Dense breasts have more connective tissue than a fatty tissue, which can sometimes make it hard to see tumors on a mammogram. Women with dense breasts are more likely to get breast cancer. Personal history of breast cancer or 39 cancerous breast diseases. Women who have had breast cancer are more likely to get breast cancer a second time. Some non-cancerous breast diseases such as atypical hyperlasia or lobular carcinoma in situ are associated with a higher risk of getting breast cancer. Family history of breast or ovarian cancer and woman's risk for breast cancer is higher if she is a woman, sister or daughter, first degree relative or multiple family members on either her mother's or father's side of the family who have had breast or ovarian cancer. Having a first degree male relative with breast cancer also raises a woman's risk. Well, not being physically active. Women who are not physically active have a higher risk of getting breast cancer. Being overweight or obese after menopause. Older women who are overweight or obese have a higher risk of getting breast cancer other than those at a normal weight taking hormones. Some forms of hormone replacement therapy taken during menopause can raise risk for breast cancer when taken for more than five years. Certain oral contraceptives also have been found to raise breast cancer risk. Reproductive history. Having the first pregnancy after the age of 30, not breastfeeding, and never having a full oh, pregnancy can raise breast cancer risk. Drinking alcohol. Studies show that a woman's risk for breast cancer increases with the more alcohol she drinks. So, based on the signs of Breast cancer, what are, what does this risk factor mean, Christian? This risk factors, if you, if you possess all these risk factors, then you might be, you might have a chance of getting breast cancer. But you're luck, but these are just risk factors, so you may get it, you may not. Asher, question. Why are the bakit ang mga risk factors? Bakit may risk factors ang breast cancer? Of course, kasi nakakadelikado niya sa 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 lahat sa mga females po, hindi lang sa older or younger age po, po lahat-lahat na. Kaya nakakatakot talaga siya. Carlos? Yes. Ay, okay na. Wait, ito na. To read this slide, I will give the floor to Christian Chan. Wait Thank lang. you. Wait lang. Ito na. Here. Oops. Anong part okay. mo? Here. Who is at high risk for breast cancer? If you have a strong family history of breast cancer, aka genetics, or inherited changes in your BRCA1 and 2 genes, you may have a high risk of getting breast cancer. You may also have a high risk of for ovarian cancer. Talk to your doctor about ways to reduce your risk, such as medicines that block or decrease estrogen in your body or surgery. Can you explain this in your own words, please? In my own words, if you have, if there, if there are genes present in your body that cause cancer, it or a, a, heredity, a hereditary history of 
hereditary history of breast cancer, then you might have, you might, you might, you might also contract the ailment as well. So, and if you, and if you do, please consult your doctor about, please consult your doctor on okay. how to curb this. Okay. So, how can we prevent breast cancer? First, limit alcohol. The more alcohol you drink, the greater your risk of developing breast cancer. The general recommendation based on research and the effect of alcohol on breast cancer risk is to limit yourself no, to no more than one drink of alcohol a day as even small amounts increase risk. So in layman's term, just limit alcohol, drink less, or meaning you should only drink only once. But not too much or not every day as well. To maintain a healthy weight, you should maintain your weight. If you need to lose weight, ask your doctor about healthy strategies to accomplish this. Reduce the number of calories you eat each day and slowly increase the amount of exercise. Meaning, if your weight is healthy, meaning you should exercise as much as you can. To be physically active, you should done. We should. This is done through physical activity. This can help you maintain a healthy weight, which helps prevent breast cancer. Most healthy adults should aim for at least 150 minutes a week of aerobic activity or 75 minutes of aerobic activity weekly. Strength training at least twice a week, meaning doing workouts as well. Breast heat. Breastfeeding may, might play a role in breast cancer prevention. The longer you breastfeed, the greater the protective effect. To read this part, I'll give the floor to Asher Santos. Okay. Limit postmenopausal post hormone therapy. Combination hormone therapy may increase the risk of breast cancer. Talk with your doctor about the risks and benefits of hormone therapy. You might be able to manage your symptoms with your non-hormone therapies and medications. If you decide that the benefits of short-term hormone therapy outweigh the risk, use the lowest dose that works for you and continue to have your doctor monitor the length of time you're talking hormones. What does this mean, Asher? <coughs> yung sa ano sa post po hindi yun na kay yun na kay kisya ng breast cancer kailan mo na na magconsult mo na sa doctor first bago gawin mo na yung therapy yung okay, yan okay Christian where are yes. you I'm here Christian can you read this slide please of course, eating a healthy diet might decrease your risk of some types of cancer as well as diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. For example, when women eat a Mediterranean diet supplemented ibu, extra virgin olive oil, and mixed nuts might have a reduced risk of breast cancer. The Mediterranean diet focuses on most, mostly on plant-based foods, such as fruits and vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and nuts. People who follow the Mediterranean diet choose healthy fats such as olive oil over butter and eat fish, and eat fish instead of red meat. Maintaining healthy weight is also a key factor in breast cancer prevention. In other words, stay healthy, eat healthy, to prevent a lot of sicknesses. There's some evidence that hormonal contraception, which includes birth control pills and IUDs that release hormones, increases the risk of breast cancer. But the risk is considered very small, and it decreases after you stop using hormonal contraceptives. A recent study that showed an association between hormonal contraceptive use and breast cancer determined one additional breast cancer could be expected for every 7,690 women who use hormonal contraception for at least one year. Discuss your contraceptive options with your doctor. Also consider the benefits of hormonal contraception such as controlling menstrual bleeding, preventing an unwanted pregnancy, and reducing the risk of other cancers, including an endometric trial cancer and ovarian cancer. Be vigilant about breast cancer detection. 
If you notice any changes in your breast, such as a new lump or skin changes, consult your doctor. Also, ask your doctor when to begin mammograms and other screenings based on your personal history. So, Christian, can you read this slide, please, on the reason why pink is the color of breast cancer awareness? Okay. Pink. Today, the color pink, especially pink ribbons, is a strong symbol of breast cancer awareness and the fight to cure, to find a cure against the disease. This is used all around the globe, bringing emphasis to the cause across countries, cultures, and languages. Ribbons became popular as a support symbol of support in the 1990s. What does this mean? This mean, um, what does this mean? If you want to support breast cancer awareness, wear pink. Is it like this, guys? I'll show it to you. Is this the one? Yes. Yeah. Also, you do get. Also, if you do wear it on Wednesdays, you get free. You get perks from back. You get perks from Baskins and Rob Baskin and Robbins. You see this? This yes. is the reason why the color pink is important because it does represent breast cancer awareness, ladies and gentlemen. My question is, what are the ways on how to celebrate the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. To read this slide, I will give the floor to Asher Santos. Okay. Ways on how to celebrate Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Give. All donation will help make sure we're always with people affected by breast cancer with support for today and hope for the future. Wear it pink. On Friday, October 22, wear pink. Raise money. Help make life-changing breast cancer research and care happen. Do. There's loads of ways to get involved. Whatever you do, you'll be helping fund research and care when people need it most. To summarize my topic, every October, People all over the world show their support for everyone affected by breast cancer. We're focused on accelerating research and providing vital support every way we can all year round. This month, we're committed to showing you that no matter who you are, whatever your experience of breast cancer, we're always with you. So guys, what have we learned from this topic tonight? That we learned from this topic tonight. Breast cancer is a serious disease in women, serious ailment for women, and it and it and it has simple symptoms such as lumps in the body, lumps in the breast area, or pain in the breast area. And if you do have, and in case you do have a history of it, consult your doctor. And if you want to prevent it, stay healthy and eat healthy. How about you, Asher? What have you learned from this topic this evening? Um, the learned is the breast cancer is not only for for women, men, it's also for male, also both young and male. For then, ano pa? Then ano pa? Um, you, you breast cancer is ano is a serious disease po. Kasi kailangan po. Consult the doctor. Consult your doctor for on how to prevent for. So, taka kailangan ko talaga siya. Okay. What I have learned tonight regarding this topic is that breast cancer awareness month, ladies and gentlemen, is. Done. In order for us to raise awareness about the impact of breast cancer, that is why it emphasizes the importance of regular self-breast examination and the critical level or the critical role rather of screening in the early detection and treatment of breast cancer among women. A breast self-examination is a method to 
to detect any noticeable changes in one's breast. Early detection of any changes in the breast and seeking immediate consultation will increase one's chances of, success, of a successful treatment. So, that is why all the, the organization that promote breast cancer, the WHO and the Department of Health urges everyone to continue campaign for breast cancer awareness, not only in the Philippines, but also around the world. Why? Christian, why should DOH, the WHO and other breast cancer organizations Again, to support breast cancer awareness throughout the world, not because only in the Philippines. Because we want to, we we the, these health organizations really want us to alert, uh, make us all aware about the these possible diseases and ailments. So, like any disease, we should be aware of it, and we should learn how to prevent it and learn how to help treat people with these diseases. Okay, how about you, Asher? Why should DOH, the WHO, or the World Health Organization, the Department of Health, and other breast cancer organizations continue to campaign for breast cancer awareness not only in the Philippines but throughout the world? Wait, na. Of course, po, kasi para may, may tulog po maba ang numbers po ng breast cancer dito po sa atin po at kailangan po ng ano ng campaign po dahil ano para mas matuwa po yung lahat sa mga mga babae po natin na para matuwa nyo sa breast cancer po or something po. Okay. So for me, we should continue to campaign in breast cancer awareness. Because all of us, including women, should continue the fight against breast cancer, not only here in the Philippines, but also throughout the world. In order for us, including women, to be strong and healthy as well, no matter who you are, and also to continue to show support to all individuals affected by breast cancer as well. Okay, that concludes our topic this evening. Now let us have our virtual pasyalan. This evening, let us go to Burnham Park. Do you know where Burnham Park is? It's in Baguio. Baguio. Oh, I've been to Baguio when I was a kid. Only once. For me, I went to Baguio when, during my high school retreat in 2017. How about you, Asher? Are you Baguio? I guess so. Okay, then. Um, um, 20... Ano, let me say. Around 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Hey guys, so without further ado, let us now go to Burnham Park in Baguio. Tana, tana. Tignan nyo, tignan nyo maigi. Oh, tignan nyo. So, I will tell you something interesting about Burnham Park. Burnham Park is also is 
an historic urban park located in Baguio City. It was named after Daniel Burnham, the city planner and an American architect as well. So, Burnham Park was envisioned by an American architect named Daniel Burnham as part of the plans for the city of Baguio. After being presented the, the plans for Baguio City and Manila, Burnham turned over the plans to William E. Parsons. The area where this park is situated is formerly known as the Baguio Meadow. This is influenced by the city beautiful movement. It has a small pond or lagoon situated at the Green Spaces Center and has re regimented rows of grass and sidewalk. Burnham Park is under the jurisdiction of the Baguio City government. And in the park, there are 12 clusters, the, Alet the Athletic Bowl, the Burnham Lagoon, the Children's Playground, the Igorot Garden, the Japanese Peace Tower, the Melvin Jones at Grandstand, Orchidarium, Picnic Grove, Pine Trees of the World, Rose Garden, Skating Ring, and the Sunshine Park. So, in Burnham Park, you will see the, the Bermuda grass and the boot path as well. For its parking space, it's 3,000 vehicle capacity that has been proposed to be built at the Melvin Jones Grandstand area of the park, which is the property of the Baguio City government as well. So, actually, uh, I remember in 2017 when I went to Baguio, I've been to Burnham Park as well. And uh, what I've done, uh, it happened during my high school retreat as well. So I'm going to show you. So here, just wait. Uh, wait. Get this, guys. That's me when I went to Baguio. Oh, so tayo sa mga, tayo sa mountain yata. Is this, is this, is this Burnham Park? In the, in the picture. I will collect the location you, you can handle for. Sorry. Wait, ito? Tingnan nyo. Uh, oh. I've been to Burnham Park in Baguio during my high school retreat. High school retreat in 2017, that's a March 2017, before I graduated high school on April 2017 and entered college. Okay. Um, so, San location po you kinuhana po? Saan? Sa ano, see? what location? Exact location mismo. Sa may Burnham Park mismo. Sa may okay. Burnham Park mismo. Okay. Also, how how can you go to Baguio from Manila? Question. Which you go first? Hmm. You go to Enlex. From my place, you go to Enlex. From Quezon City, you go by Enlex to Tarlac, then take the T-Plex going to T-Plex. Or you may also take MacArthur going to Cannon Road. Cannon Road or the Marcus Highway. Yeah. Or the Anduyan Bridge. Also, when I went to Baguio, I took NLEX. I also, my, since my school is in Katipunan, I used Mindanao Avenue, NLEX, SETEX, TPLEX, Marcos Highway. And for my return, Kedon Road, NLEX, SETEX, TPLEX, and Mindanao Avenue. And I used Waze on my phone. Nice. And also, Asher, how can you go to Baguio from yours, from your area? Of course. Of course. Madilang Eta, then NLEX, SCTEC, TPLEX. Or TK, ko director, dito na ano na. Tapos dito na, akin na lang sa Skyway po, po to NLEX na po, dito na siya. Okay, so 
Yes, also I remember that. Uh, but now, if you want to go to Baguio from here, just take Skyway Stage 3, and next, as it takes, meet next, or Mark and Mark, Marcus Highway as well. Do you guys enjoy our trip to Baguio in Burnham Park? Yes. yes. Yes, and I wish to return there soon. I, I went there actually during my high school retreat. Last March 2017. Ito. Here. 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 Oh. Ako to. And also, I can see. Okay. So we're done with our tour this evening. Now let us move on to some of the some of the very important announcements for hands and inclusion Philippines as well. Okay, to discuss this, I will give the floor to Asher Santos. Okay. Okay. Eto bi na kayo ng ano na mga products in the ano, sa online shop the hni online shop po eto i think to you two product that one product po na magugustuhan ninyo first you i think you want inclusion nation t-shirt it is available in red black blue white and yellow ibang kulay po yun at the price is ano lang siya for only 275 pesos, all sizes na. Remember, 275 pesos, you can have ng size po, 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 fixed price na yun siya. Then, the uh, ating one indigenation tote bag, which is available in white and black, 150 pesos lang siya for medium, and 200 naman po for large po. Okay, guys, so, bili na kayo yes. ng, ng mga product. So, guys, how can we pay? Well, first of all, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from Gcash via this QR code that I will show this to you in just a moment. And also... We will deliver your ordered products via GoGo Express in NCR or Metro Manila and its surrounding areas and LBC nationwide as well. Just a reminder, the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop is temporarily closed for areas under The Enhanced Community Quarantine and Modified Enhanced Community Quarantine Areas. But it will continue to serve in areas under the General Community Quarantine and the Modified General Community Quarantine. If you purchase our products on Shopee, it won't be affected. So its operating hours are from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For a full list of orders, please visit the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page or email us at hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. Christian, hmm. the floor is yours for this. Okay. Everyone, H and I needs help. We are we need we need funding to support us in our and our projects so that we can help spread awareness awareness and inclusion for all PW members. If you'd like to help, please scan, scan the QR code or donate this in G, G Cash. G Cash. Our your donation our, your donation is of your donation is of great help to us. So please so if you if you if you can donate and support us, please do so. See hashtag H and I hashtag inclusion tile. Okay guys what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. And also to donate the Hands in Inclusion Philippines as well. We are asking for your help for our organization. 
in any amount and are buying products from our organization. It is a huge help to our organization. Many of us are struggling with our finances. Please help Hanson Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project. We're aiming to raise funds in our organization. And also, we will expect for us, in order for us to rebuild, in order for us to have a bigger, a better, and a bolder Hands in Inclusion Philippines. So guys, for those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to our organization. We have other announcements coming up. Also, Hiraya Gallery and Special Achievers Philippines is presenting to you Project Sold Out. 15 out of 76 artworks are sold from Articulate, an exhibit showcasing the inspiring talents of persons with disabilities. Visit our virtual gallery at Articulate Online. Send us a private message if you wish to purchase any of the remaining artworks for sale. We will also have a sold out show for the very talented young artists of Special Achievers. So this is a, uh, a joint between Hiraya Gallery, Special Achievers, Ateneo Speed, or Ateneo Special Education Society, Autism Strong Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, College of Rehabilitation Sciences Student Council, Hands in Inclusion Philippines, Little Hands ISCO with UNICEF, Philippine Academy of Occupational Therapists, Society of Occupational Therapy Majors, the ABLE Center, Pugon Ateneo, the UP Collegiate Association of Speech Pathologists, and You Belong, PH. And also, I have also have other events coming up on October 13, 2021, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., um, the Hub of Innovation for Inclusion, in collaboration with the Peter D. Garucho Jr. Innovations Institute will have a webinar on sustainable designs through digital tech. The speaker is Ideon Catalan, a solutions architect. So, to learn about the principles, aspects, and the drivers of sustainable design and how to integrate and apply sustainability in the design process. So, the speaker for this event of the Social Innovation Talk is Ideon Catalan. He is an industrial designer and solutions architect at Accelerating Makers. There will be a sign language interpreters during this event. So this is a joint. This is a free event and it will be done via Zoom. And also, um, this is uh, a joint between Accelerating Makers, the Benil Hub of Innovation for Inclusion, and the Peter D. Garucho Jr. Innovations Institute as well. Also, we have on, on November 6, 13, and 20, Special Olympics Philippines will have a leadership training on Lead to Include 2021, a National Youth Leadership Summit on November 6, 13, and 20, at 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. So the event is free and you may register before October 11 to receive the LPI or the Lead to Include Summit Kit as well. Also, we also have some remaining events for Best Buddies Philippines for the month of October. On October 16, we'll be, meet, we'll be celebrating the World Food Day. And also, we have um, World Food Day at 4 p.m. on October 16 as part of the Best Buddies Philippines Saturday Series of Learning. We will also have Wellness Wednesday with Coach Pepper at 3 p.m. on October 20. We will also celebrate Diwali with Ravi Sujanani 
on October 23 at 4 p.m. And we'll be celebrating the birthday of Ravi Sujanani on that day, on October 23. And also, a fairy tale Halloween at 4 p.m. on the, on October 30. So, if you want to join these events for October 16, 2023, 20, and 30, follow Best by These Philippines on Facebook and Instagram. Send them a message and they will send you the registration form and name as well. Also, this one, a very important thing. Follow Anthony Inclusion Philippines on our social media pages and its digital platforms as well. It will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. Follow us on Facebook, Anthony Inclusion PH, Inclurajo, Inclusports, Inclunihan, and the online shop. Instagram, Hansening Ocean PH, Kumu, H&I Philippines, and also subscribe to the Hansening Ocean Philippines YouTube channel. So guys, for those who did this, thank you very much as well. Okay, as we only have some 10 minutes to go before we wrap up. Um, to those who are watching tonight, to Benicent Makuse and Benjamin Molina, good evening to you guys and thank you for watching. And also to those who are celebrating their birthdays today, happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. To those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. And uh, we would like to say good evening and thank you to the following. I'll go ahead first. So to my family, good evening. Hi. To... Anthony Inclusion Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benil, Angat PWD United, and other PWD organizations. Thank you very much as well. And to my high school and college friends, good evening as well. How about you, Ash, or you, Tang Greeting Small? Asher. Ah, uh, sir, hello. I, I wait lang. I wait lang. Nagulod lang ako. Nagulod lang. Hello? Yes. Hello po sa mga taga ano. Hello sa mga... Hello kay Ma'am Carmel Sumagad. Nakapal po siya sa Senado sa Anak PWD po. And thank you po sa pag... Ano... No, dapat um, i-boto natin si ay wala pa i-boto ano pala si OC pala please si Ma'am Carmel please don't mention this Asher uh, yes ano please don't mention kasi okay sorry uh, sorry Just thank you na lang kay do, do another okay sorry okay. thank you na lang po thank you na lang po po sa Volcade po. Hello po sa inyong lahat. We need. We lang po. How about you, Christian? Me? Um, me, um, shout out to my family and shout out to my to, to people from Hatania Speed and Hatania How are you doing since I was gone? Um, in lang for now. Thank you. Okay. And also, to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. I hope you guys are in a good mood, but if not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. So, sana nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo. Kung hindi, meron kayo sa patapanahon para magsiayos ang inyong kalagayan at kagalingan ninyo. So, to all those watching us on Incurajo, thank you very much as well. And to those who share our episode, Thank you very much as well. And also, if you miss this episode, ladies and gentlemen, it will be viewed on the next day on the Hands and Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. We only have a couple of minutes to go before we wrap up our show tonight. As we wrap up our show this evening, I would like to share with you our final words or code 
for the day. For our quote for the day, this is a very inspiring uh, quote in relation to our topic this evening. Here, from Helen Keller. Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. Guys, can you explain to this what this quote means? Without hope and in, without hope and confidence, we cannot we cannot achieve anything. Tama nga. Right, we cannot Asher. achieve anything. Asher, ito. Asher. Ay, ay, sorry. Sorry na, nalala sa isip ko. Yung ano yung sa code po na, which is optimism, optim, optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence po. Hindi ka mawawala ng ano ng tiwala po, po lang sa babae po. po. Hindi lang sa babae, pati sa lalaki din mismo po. Okay. Sharing. Okay, guys. So, as we only have six minutes to go, I will give you guys our lesson for the day. So, if everyone, we must continue the fight against breast cancer, and also we continue campaign for breast cancer awareness and also to continue to stay strong stay healthy and of course to be responsible for our health and safety as well this is not only for us but this is for our safety and this is for our protection as well how about you christian chan final words Regarding this topic for today, before we wrap up, um, my final words for today: uh, always stay safe and stay healthy. Stay safe from COVID, Lord, so COVID, and congratulations to this year's Nobel Prize, Nobel Peace Prize winners. Uh, you know who you are. I shall not announce in fear, so that we could be politically neutral. I will not announce who they are, but congratulations to them. And also, how about for the breast cancer awareness topic? And for breast cancer awareness and, and actually any forms of the big c stay safe and always eat healthy you'll never know when the big c can take away someone's life how about you asher ano final words more for today regarding okay this okay you of the celebration of course the celebration of of course october is a breast cancer awareness month an annual campaign to raise awareness about the impact of breast cancer po. Ito yung month of October po is ano, they nagsa-celebrate po ng, ng, ano, ng breast cancer awareness month po para mag-contribute po, po sa mga babae po na natatamaan ng, ano, ng, ng breast cancer po. Tinan mo sa ano, yung soto, hindi siya pink, ano lang, blue lang siya. Siya, siya para sa ano. Of course, isa pang remember po sa ano yung sa breast cancer po. Ano, wait na po ha. Ang remember po sa breast cancer po for awareness is ask your doctor when you shoot a mammogram other than skin cancer. Of course, breast cancer is the most common cancer among women po. Hindi na sa mga babae po ang pinaka-importante na paka, ano sa cancer po. Minsan sa mga lalaki po mismo din eh. Of course, remember po you sa, sa Breast Cancer Awareness Month is ano, stay strong, stay healthy, and stay ano, stay po, po tayo lahat po. Fight the eh, ano, Pai po tayo sa ati breast cancer po. Okay. And also that tomorrow is Sunday. As Hans and Inclusion Philippines continue to put God first regardless of our faith, Sunday is a day of rest and faith. 
So guys, it will be appreciated you guys for your cooperation and your silence so that people can attend the religious services peacefully and quiet as well. Okay, that's a wrap for our Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion for Saturday, October 9, 2021. On behalf of Hanson Inclusion Philippines and Inco Radio, we are your host, Carlos Miguel Kanaashi. Together with me are Christian Chan and Asher Santos. I'll be back again tomorrow for our Inco Radio special report. Thank you, good night, and may the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalangin na watayo ng buong may kapal. May bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. All together, H and N. Hi. God first. God first. God first. God first. God first. Thank you guys for watching. Good night and bye for now. Bye bye. Bye bye. And good night. <laughs>